Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are unboxing and flipping through the Field Tarot by Hannah Elizabeth Fofana. Hopefully I am saying that correctly, I love it. This is published by US Game Systems. It is fairly new, coming out in 2020, and I do not see the retail price for it. I believe it's $22.99 don't quote me on that. I will leave everywhere you can purchase this deck down in the description box below. Um, not affiliated, not sponsored. So the back says, the filled tarot was created to guide readers through the sacred space, the field, where the tarot narrative takes place. Inspired by colorful, botanical, and otherworldly dreamscapes, the accessible artwork situates the reader within the scene, allowing them to easily connect with the card meanings. The field tarot acts as an intuitive tool to help readers navigate through life, relationships, and their inner and outward journeys. So 78 cards in a 96-page guidebook. All right, I really love the box. It's simple, it's to the point, and it's just beautifully done. All right, nothing of note in the box here. I did take the plastic wrap off of the cards itself, so you did not have to see me struggle. Before we get into the deck itself, let's just have a look real fast about the guidebook. See if there's anything specific we need to know. Let's see just what we saw on the back of the card or back of the deck, we have a single card spread, three card, and the Celtic cross. Perfect. <clears throat> and then it has its own field spread. That's awesome. And then it goes into the card meanings. All right, perfect. I must say, short and to the short and sweet, but we'll get into the um, meanings after the flip through to see how the guidebook reads. All right. So there is the back. That's really pretty. Pastel-y, watercolor-y. Love it. All right. It's a great size, too. All right. Some borders. We have a keyword down there, too. Interesting. Let's see how that goes. I really, really like the art style. Kind of collagey. The cardstocks feels pretty good. It's smooth, a little gloss, but not that much. And look, right out the gate, we've got diversity. Yes, and look at that beautiful chair she's sitting on. That throne, I should say. Oh, so it's not a keyword. It is um, the title, goodness sake. That's interesting. Oh, cute. All right, very classic. Interesting lover's card. I really like that. Oh, cute. Perfect. The black and white is there. Interesting justice card. Wow. I this is like I'm wanting to say it's a first for me with a female hermit. That can't be that can't be right. I've got it. I must have seen a female hermit card before, but it just strikes me as awesome and new. I'm loving this Wheel of Fortune card. The duality is there as well. Ooh, look at strength. So strength is 11 here. Justice was eight. Interesting. That's the hangman. Huh. I really like that take on it. And look at the death card. Oh. All right. I really like that too. This is really beautifully done. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Let me adjust. 
that is so pretty. Oh, it's very like minimalist, but there's so much intuitive hits. There's so many intuitive hits that I'm getting. And I really like that. That's so neat. I love that moon card. Oh, it is really pretty. Oh, I love. Oh, yes, love this. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Wow. Okay, here we go. This is giving me Sailor Moon vibes. <laughs> Okay, so they are giving you a keyword down here along with the title. That's really cool. So this might be a great car, uh, card, great deck for beginners because you get the guidebook and then you have this imagery that's really, really beautiful. But you also have a keyword down here that relates to the card and the energy. Again, Sailor Moon vibes. And this doesn't overpower the rest of the card, which is fantastic. I really like that the borders kind of fade into the background. Like you don't really notice the borders at all with the picture. Love that. So they're not all like pip cards with just the symbol on it. So that's fantastic. Love it. Those pants are everything. I want a pair. Oh my gosh, I love. I'm loving all of the beautiful floral prints as well. Oh, I love this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this is giving me um, <laughs> Legolas vibes. I love it. <laughs> um, oh gosh, why is it ther Theriel? Ther My Lord of the Rings names are so bad, but... Um, I'll think of it. You can tell me down in the comments. It's not just Legolas. The other, um, the other elf, maybe it was in The Hobbit, that had the blonde hair and it was like he was a ruler. I'm forgetful with all of this name jargon stuff. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. I am so glad that there's like some sort of a scene going on in the cards. I don't dislike Pip or Tarot of Marseille. I can never say it right. Um, decks. I don't dislike them. I just find them harder to get intuitive hits off of because there's not a scene there going on. So if you're a beginner, it might be a little harder for you to understand. Like if this was just the cups here, it might be a little difficult for you to pick up on those intuitive hits. However, I feel like this is doing it really right. There's a method to it. With just your average pip cards, with just the symbols like this, with nothing going on, um, you really have to use the numerology aspect of it to get your intuitive hits. So what does five mean in tarot? What does... Um, uh, five mean in numerology. What's the sequence of events? Um, this is gorgeous. Sorry for the sirens if you hear them in the background. 
Beautiful. Ugh. I want that dress. <laughs> he looks familiar too. Kind of giving me Sean Connery vibes. I love that ace. There we go. Oh, I do like this three of hearts. Or three of, three of swords. <laughs> I was focusing on the heart. Oh, funny. This is interesting too. Oh my. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I like this one. There's always, always, always some form of a fox in the Seven of Swords. <laughs> I don't mind that. I love foxes. This is an interesting take, too. She reminds me of Florence from Florence and the... Uh, is it that machine? Florence and the Machine? The Dog Days Are Over singer. Man, I tell you what, my memory. The names are what gets me. This is honestly how I, sh like, what I would expect out of a deck. It doesn't seem like it's forced diversity. It doesn't seem like anything is really forced. It seems like everything just came together effortlessly. There's a lot of cohesion within the different um, themes that are going within the, all of the deck, not just the suits. I feel like this is the type of deck that I want to see going forward with all of the, um, artwork being very cohesive, very easily readable, as well as having the inclusion in here. I feel like that's extremely important. Ooh, I really like this. This is a really cool deck. Oh. <laughs> it's really neat. Oh, that's really cool. Oh my goodness. This is giving me, oh, why can't I think of his name? Um, all I can think about is T'Challa. Um, I, and I can't remember his actual name and uh, I, I'm going to, I'm going to remember it soon. But like I said, me and names, we don't, we don't vibe. <laughs> I never remember any of them, but um, it's giving me a lot of that. And I love that. Oh, the artwork is beautiful. All right, let's see how it shuffles. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have an issue with this at all. Sorry, I'm working around a stand here, so if you see it shake. 
This is nice. It glides really smoothly and swiftly through your hands. All right, Seven of Wands, Valor. We also have Tower and the Star, but let's read from the Seven of Wands. Okay, the Seven of Wands represents the need to stand your ground and fight for what you've earned. The more successful you are, the more likely others will try to bring you down. Maintain control and defend your territory with grace and remember to choose your battles wisely. Keywords being perseverance, challenge, defense, courage, fearlessness, and competition. So there is no reverse meaning in the deck here, but that's okay. You can find them in books and online. Um, I have a feeling this is a Toth style deck. So keep that in mind too with um, the princesses and then the um, strength and justice being swapped. That's usually a sign of a Toth style deck, um, especially with it being discs and the, um, the, the, the name switch. So keep that in mind. Um, just keep in mind there's going to be those little changes. Um, but other than that, this is beautiful. This was requested and this was on my list already. Um, it was just further down the list because it's growing so big um, that I I wasn't really, you know, chomping at the bit to um, purchase this. However, since it was requested, I was like, all right, now I have an excuse. <laughs> um, I'm really excited that I did. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the style. I love the, um, the fact that you get scenes in your minor arcana. Um, it's not just pip style, which is fantastic. Um, there's keywords on here to help you out if you are a beginner. Um, the, the just sheer beautifulness of the imagery is getting me. Um, it's different. It's unique. Um, like I, I feel like I've seen similar art styles. However, it's got its own twist to it, which I really, really like. So well done. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I'm really enjoying all of the color. Everything is just just gorgeous. I'm really, really happy uh, with the representation in here. I feel like that's just gorgeous. Like we don't have just blonde white women in the deck. And I love that. We've got colored hair. We've got different skin tones. We've just, oh, it's great. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about it down in the comment section. If it's something that's on your wish list, if you're planning on purchasing it, or now that you see it, you want it. <laughs> And also do check out the link down in the description box for my Patreon. It's just another way that you could support me and this channel, especially if you have specific decks that you want me to review. It's just an extra way to get them quicker. Um, and uh, everything will be explained in that link as well. So thank you so much to everyone who continually watches and supports me just by doing that. I love each and every one of you. Um, yeah. So that being said, don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. Thank you much again. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.